Hey everyone, I'm here again with another video for y'all with another reading. I hope your year is going great so far. I hope, you know, um, you're doing what you said you was going to do. You're making the changes you said you're going to make or you've made those changes and you're sticking to the plan that you made for yourself. So hope, hopefully, you know, um, you're just crushing your goals. If that's what you want to say, like you're crushing your goals or, you know, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. If not, you know, you still got plenty of time and it just got to be in January. It can be next month or the month after that but you know just make sure you get started i don't know why i'm saying that maybe somebody needs to hear that but you know hope y'all doing great welcome to my channel if you are new i'm danisha i hope you subscribe if you end up liking this video it would be really wonderful to have you here welcome back if you've been around it's good to have y'all back you guys already know that so this reading is going to be as you can see from the title it is going to be about who are your spirit guides and, you know, what they want you to know. Now, I ain't going to better name every single one of your spirit guides because, I mean, you have like a, a team of them and each one come in at a certain point in your life. I'll explain it a little bit on, you know, when I get to each group. But, you know, certain spirit guides come in at, at certain points in your life. Uh, you know, certain spirit guides have like play a bigger role in your life than other ones like it's you know this whole big thing again i'll I, i'll explain more like in a video maybe talking about spirit guys or like as i get to each group but if i do that in this video it'll be like three hours long <laughs> but yeah but so i'm just gonna name the ones that's that want to make themselves known now the reason why i want to do this video is because of a visitation that you know, I've had, now we always get visitations or whatever, but, you know, I've had a visitation and, you know, there's like, we want you to relay this message to the collective for, you know, tell them about their spirit guides. You know, they want to make themselves be known to you, especially this year, because a lot of you have a big things that's going to be occurring into your life this year. And a lot of times, if you do not know that, at like the beginning of the year, like the human years, they usually uh, switch out. So it's kind of like changing shifts. Now, this is what I know to be, you know, a thing. They change shifts with <laughs> doing a new year and for humans, you know, that time does not exist on the other side. And like calendars and, and dates and stuff don't exist. But they change out in like new years and different seasons and birthdays and things like that so again i have to do a video on that but yeah this is you know around the time where there has been a shift change when january first hit so you know we want to introduce you to the ones that have has come in and maybe they want to make themselves be known shown now again this is me this is what i've been told by my spiritual guys i don't care what you believe or who you are or you know but yeah so that's why they want me to do this this video, okay? So they want to be like, hey, you know, we want to make ourselves be known, and we want them to know us, and this is gonna be confirmation for a lot of people as well, and um, you know, just confirming some things in your life, and just some messages you need to know that they want you to know, and things like that, okay? So. We'll see which one or how many of your spirit guides come through or which one comes through. It may just be one, it may be just two, it may be just be three or four. It depends on, you know, which energies uh, make themselves known the most, okay? So don't be sad if you know a certain spirit guide and then come through. That don't mean that's not your spirit guide, okay? But we'll just see what comes through. So let's get our wit you know, what energy comes through, okay? Who comes through for you? So let's get to the group selection. Okay, now, I intuitive, intuitively pulled these letters and numbers. I just pulled them. They was just like, grab that, put that for group one, put that for group two, put that for group three. Now, you know, these numbers and letters can have a meaning to you. I will channel intuitively with them, okay? um, Y'all know how I do that with them uh, letters and numbers, but... You know, it could have a meaning to you. The combination or the letters by themselves 
or like it's a certain word or it can be your name or a certain name or something like that. So group one is the letter M. Then you guys got a blank one actually. And group and uh I was about to say and group three is A. What? <laughs> so group one is the letter M, the blank, and the letter A. Maybe you know some of y'all kind of feel drawn to group three already, so maybe that's a sign. Eight, three, and eight, and the letter N. So you got the M, the blank, and A. The number eight, the number three, and the number eight again, and the letter M for group one. Group two is going to be the letter T, the letter R. You got another T, and then you got the number nine and six, Okay, and group three is going to be the letter A, the letter N, and then you only got the number zero. Okay, so that's going to be group one, two, and three. Now, you can pick more than one group if you would like to. That is completely up to you. However, you know, this is a general reading, so just take whatever resonates with you. This reading may not resonate with you at all, or a certain group may not resonate. You can pick another one. It's not a big deal. It is a general reading on YouTube. If you want something for yourself, you would have to, like, get a private one. But yeah, just take whatever feels right for you and lead them other messages to other people. Do not rush when making your selection. Take your time. The reader is not going to get up and walk away. And so just take your time when making your selection, okay? Give it a pause. Meditate on the groups. Or just, you know, you may be super intuitive and you're just being drawn to a certain group. Then do that, okay? But, you know, again, keep in mind, if I didn't mention this, it is a general reading. If you're not new to pick a card readings or readings in general, you know that already. So just take whatever feels right for you, like I said, and leave them other messages to other people. Again, you don't have to accept these messages. You can't reject them if I didn't say that already. And with that being said, let's begin with group number one, okay? So, hello and welcome to everyone who selected group one. This will be your reading. So, we're going to see who are your spirit guides. Now, I said in the beginning, all these spirit guides are not going to come in because you do have a big team of spirit guides. So, the ones that want to make themselves be known and, you know, that's going to show themselves that's going to come through are going to be the ones who's going to come through for you, Okay. You know, so if you're looking to hear from a certain spirit guide because you know you like, I know this one, or uh, these ones, then they may not come through, but we'll see. Maybe you just want to see whom it is, but yeah. All right. So you guys have the letter M, a blank, an A, the number 8, the number 3, 8, and the letter N, okay? Now, I'm not sure why the letter N is not up there with the rest of the letters. It may be like... A single word that needs your attention, like the letter N, may be very important. Like that can be the beginning of your name, your first and middle last name, or somebody you know. Uh, there's some connection here or something. I'm hearing something about north. So maybe you live in like the north of a place or you want to go north. Or like it could be like the north star. It could be like your destiny or something like that. You're headed north. You're on the right path. And the M can be moon as well, like be for moon. Or again, some of y'all names or uh, the letter A as well. I'm hearing art with A. I'm hearing moon with M and the north with the letter N. I'm hearing something about Nubian with the letter N as well as nuance. Nuance. Or, or it can be something new. Um, I'm hearing eight days, 30 days as well. I'm hearing 343. Three. Now, I'm not sure why I'm hearing that number combination. It can be because um, that may be a significant meaning. Something about somebody's address got these numbers in it. Like, it can be a part of somebody's address. That's something they say. It's something about an address with the numbers. And they, like, pointing at the numbers. Um, 
um, I'm hearing something about like a safari or something. I'm not sure why that's coming through here, but um, something about a safari or maybe an elephant is important because they showing me an elephant right now. And it, I'm hearing the elephant make a no make the you know how the ele elephant like makes the noise, right? So that's what I'm hearing. An elephant, maybe the elephant spirit is important. Or maybe they come to you as an elephant. You know, it may manifest as an elephant. You know, so could be. Um something about something being infinity. Are eternal just this is just a reminding you that your soul is eternal you know you are a soul you're not a human you just you know this is a they want you to remember you know this is just a, a um think that get, this is just for you to be able to maneuver through the physical world i'm pretty sure y'all know that but you forget sometimes so your soul your soul is eternal you existed before any of this and you're gonna continue to exist that's what's coming through here okay that's a message like they they like we want them to remember okay because again you forget sometimes you think that you're only human and you're not okay because you are a soul you're not a human but you just like this is just temporary your soul ain't temporary the human is form is temporary but again it can it, sometimes you can be so on earth Again, you forget. Even the most spiritual people forget sometimes, right? I'm seeing like a, like a crown. I'm not sure why I'm being shown like a crown, but it's like a crown made of feathers. Like it is like made of feathers around the head. And then like I'm seeing like blood on it a little bit. And I'm saying, like, it could be, like, symbolism for the sacrifices. You made a lot of sacrifices in your life, and it's not going unnoticed. So sometimes you feel like you're doing a lot, and it's going unnoticed. But it's not. Like, all your blood, sweat, and tears or something you putting into something will pay off. Or just, like, everything that you've been through, like, is not going unnoticed. And I'm sorry if I keep saying, like, a lot, but that's, that's, not, that's, what, that's how it's coming out. Um... And I'm also seeing the sun, and, and it's rising. Is it rising? Is the sun rising or setting? I can't tell if this is a sunset or if it's a sun. Okay. They're saying the sun rising. So, I don't know. That can be important. Okay. I'm also seeing, like, a phoenix rising from the ashes. Okay. So, uh, this can have a personal meaning to you, like some of this, like, you can do whatever you want with these numbers. They can be important numbers and stuff or like dates and things of that nature. Hmm. But I'll just put them here for now just so you can just still kind of, we'll see them. I just don't want them in the way. So. But yeah. Let's see who your spirit guys is and what are their messages. We have drum, dream, and journey. We have the high priestess, harness the mystic power. So one of your guys can be a goddess of some form. One of your, your spirit guys is star born. Mm -hmm. It can be also a star ancestor because if you are a star seed, um, you're going to have um, a star ancestor to that's going to be uh, one of your spirit guides who, who watching over you. Okay. We have the queen of water. It's a lot of feminine energy coming through here as well. See, I didn't want this to be in a way. I'm hearing uh, the name Mina because I kind of see that here. Like Mina, that could mean something. There could be a feminine energy. One of your spirit guys, is, her, her name is Mina. Okay, so I'm hearing like one of your spirit guides is actually a sister from a past life, but she didn't incarnate this time she didn't come this time but she um said you know what i'm gonna be one of your spirit guides right i'm gonna guide you this lifetime but i'm not coming i'm not gonna incarnate this time that was her choice not to so she's coming through as a her as a feminine like she's saying i was the sister in a past life now of course this is not gonna be for everybody but there is a strong like feminine energy coming through here the nine of air the altar Okay, 
I think I'm going to stop right here before I pull the rest of them. Okay, so I'm, I'm saying, like, for some of you, it's a certain deity. Now, you may know, but they just saying deity. They're not giving me a, a deity. Like, if you feel like you've been, like, having a certain deity around you or seeing signs or you feel a connection to a certain deity, then they be, may be one of your spirit guides and guiding you as well. But I also see a star ancestor here, and I'm also seeing a goddess. And for some of you, it's actually like an Egyptian goddess that is one of your... um spiritual guys now however you feel about like egyptians and stuff like that that's on you but i'm just telling you what's coming through here and not just because of that imagery there there is like some sort of guidance it doesn't have to be an egyptian goddess but i did say a deity so a lot of deities you know are goddesses some of them so i'm saying like some type of guided goddess around you i'm hearing like the goddess of beauty so whomever that may be, and a star answers are coming through here. Some past life sister or like a feminine friend of some kind. Some You were very close to this person in a past life, but again, they didn't car incarnate, but they signed on to be one of your spirit guides. You already knew this, of course, when you was born, your memory was erased. So they were just like, you know what? You go in this time. Well, I'm going to stay behind, but I'm going to guide you. I'll just be a spirit guide and help you along this path, okay? I'm hearing they say, okay, I'm going to help you with your intuitive abilities. I'm going to help you realize the path and and, and wait, awake to, awaken to you being a star seed because you are. So they reminding you, you are a star seed. Like you're not, you, you know, you from like a different, star, like from a, diff, a whole different system. But, you know, you still was assigned on to a soul group, you know. So, that's something that's coming through. Like, some of you made an altar or you should probably get into an altar. Now, if you see uh, any numbers here, you can take them to, into account. Or you can add them together. I mean, that's the nine of air. Six and one is seven. I believe this is the three. Um... You may see a lot of three three threes or seven seven sevens. Who else? Okay, somebody again. It could be somebody's sister. Like maybe you had a sister this lifetime. She might have passed, or um, and she them became a spirit guy. They like I'm somebody's sister right now. I, I know them. I know them this lifetime. Now some of y'all is a past life sister or somebody who was like a sister, but she has this energy of. One of you know that everything is okay. Like she's been, she's she comforts you when you cry, and she's because she's showing me rubbing a hand, rubbing a back. Like when you was crying, and it could have been recently, or maybe like a couple of days ago, a couple of weeks ago, when you was crying. Like she was like, I was right there with you. Like that breeze you felt, or when you got goosebumps, and you or you felt comfort when you was emotional. That was me. I was right there with you. Okay, so again, this can be a past life person coming through here or like a, a feminine energy that you was really close to that passed this lifetime. I'm hearing like this person um, could have been somebody who was a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, with the queen of water coming through here. But they more of a softer. This spirit guy here is like, they there when you get emotional. And when it's a lot, they work with you when it comes to your feelings and, and deep your deep emotions. You know, they there when you start crying, they come in immediately. They there to comfort you. That's when they come in. They, they, they kind of baby you up because you they baby in a way, you know. They help you a lot with self-love. Because a lot of you have, well, maybe you don't have self-hate now, but you dealt with self-hate like you've hated yourself for so long, you know. Um, I feel like I'm going to cry a little bit. <laughs> like, how y'all, again, that's why I'm saying, like, this is emotional for y'all. So I'm, like, feeling your emotion because my throat getting tight. Like, you know how your throat start to, like, get tight when you're about to cry, and then you be crying and you're trying to talk and the words can't come out? That's kind of how I feel right now. Now, some of you can have this person's picture up there 
or like maybe you have an altar and you give to the, to your ancestors or to your deities and stuff like that or certain you have pictures of a certain um goddess or something you have like you give offerings and things like that if not maybe you should look into doing that you don't have to but um it could be like this section of your room of your home or wherever you stay at or where, wherever um that you go some of you actually go to a certain place like to and you go worship uh a certain thing. i mean this can even be church so i i mean i don't know like uh, that's what's coming through here. But yeah, I feel like you guys deal with a lot. Like they, this person could, or these energy, uh, this, especially she coming through here a lot strong cause she coming through as a, she, I know feminine and masculine energy is not a certain gender, but she's coming through as she just so, you know, the human mind can process it. When you was crying and you was having those sleepless nights and feeling alone, you're not alone with them, that nine of air coming through here. So when you, or they helped you when you went through mental health issues, they there, this energy is them come through strong. That's when she comes in because certain spirit guides come in at a certain point. Or when you had those certain thoughts, those negative thoughts, or you wanted to hurt yourself, or it may be some triggering stuff come, coming through here. So it's going to be triggering. So, you this they help to awaken as well. Now again, the goddess is a one that you know who's gonna come through strong when you are trying to open your third eye and your crown chakra. That's when that goddess gonna come through more so. That's when she comes through. Like when you trying to channel when you when you do if you channel and you do divination of any kind or maybe you don't use anything to channel that goddess comes through. That's when they come in. So when you, let's say you pull out your cards, that's when that goddess come through and they help you channel. She's the one who helps relay messages and stuff like that. Whether you channeling for other people or for yourself, or even when you watching readings, or you getting a reading done, the goddess is sitting right there inside you. Or standing up right there behind you, got the hand on your shoulders, guiding you to the right groups or making you know shifting the energy so the right cards come out for you if you're doing it yourself or again if you're channeling for yourself or for somebody else um she may come in the form of different cats it can be specifically a bat, a black cat you know that's why i say it's like for a lot of you it's egyptian goddess you know they with the cats and things like that or they come in the form of a elephant for some of y'all And then you have the uh, star ancestor here um, that comes through him just to keep reminding you who you are and to just to keep that remembrance of your home. Now, the star ancestors, they're telling me I come through a lot in a dream. So maybe you have dreams of space and things like that uh, or of the stars and the are you have this dream where you being somewhere and it looks like this thing that's... Um, millions of years in the future, but it's actually your home. Okay, it looks like something out of a, a movie, like a sci-fi movie or something like that. And it's like aliens and things like that. It just looks like it's, again, millions of years in the future where technology is advanced. Where technology is already advanced. And like, these, this is just different planes of existence. You know, humans are like far behind when it comes to this type of stuff, right? So that's them reminding you like where you come from, for real. It can be glimpses of your home. Now it may be a little bit exaggerated in your dreams, but you know, essentially, if I'm using the right word, that's probably not the right terminology. But just, just giving you, reminding you, and then when you go there, you feel home, and you wake up and you like, damn, I liked it there. Are you? have these conversations. Some of you, you forget about these conversations you had with these uh, entities and things like that. A lot of them are are places that you actually come from, a lot of y'all, especially if it's like a place you keep constantly going to. That's when that star answers to come through. Maybe you hear, for some of you, maybe you hear drums. They can communicate a lot uh, with you through music or Claire audience is your strongest Claire for some of y'all. So again, talking, uh, you may hear whispers in your ear and between your waking and sleeping stage when you wake up 
or when you when your mind is awake but your body is still asleep that's your etheric body and so you start to hear them whispers you can't some of y'all can't understand what they're saying because you need to you know raise your vibration or actually be open to receiving the messages that's why it sounds like a whole bunch of jumbo mumbo jumbo like it just sounds like you know what I mean? It used to sound like that for me before I actually, you know, did meditation and got closer to the spirit. Now I know exactly. It's like I'm how I'm talking to y'all right now. I understand everything they say. But maybe to you, it just sounds like you're not understanding it. You know, and then when you're in that stage, your crown chakra is tingling. You know, that's what reason. That's a download coming through. That's, that's download you're getting. That's information. That's why you got to be open to it. That's why you got to balance your chakras, y'all. So, you know, start working with that. That can be a message that's coming through here for you. Okay? So, you got uh, feminine energy. It depends on how you resonate with. She, some of you is coming through as like a sister specifically. She could have passed. It could have been this lifetime or like a sister from a past life who did not incarnate him. Or like, it could be like some type of maternal figure. But they come in a lot when you are feeling depressed are you are you someone who struggle with mental health issues? They come in doing those certain periods. Maybe if you go to therapy, they end up doing your therapy sessions and things like that. They there whenever you you cry, or you feeling sad and down. That's when that spirit guide come through here. Star the star um, ancestor comes through a lot in the dream state. Okay, they come through a lot in your waking and sleeping stage. And or they come through your light uh, in your dreams to talk to you or to bring you to different areas and things like that to, or just to show you glimpses of your home, where you're from. And then you have this goddess that's coming through here. Some of you, the goddess is coming through as a deity um, and it's a specific goddess that's coming through here. Something about beauty or it can be like an Egyptian energy coming through here as well. And she's there a lot when you somebody channeling for, for you or when you're uh, giving cha your channeling energy messages for yourself or for somebody else when you're watching readings and things like that she comes in you doing anything like that are you messing with you where it requires you to use that third eye and crown chakra that's when you know she comes in there she comes through, through a lot this energy comes through a lot through the heart Right now, the star uh, born uh, energy, the star ancestor comes through. It's basically the crown. They showing me they pointing at the crown and the heart, and they point at the sacral chakra. So they also help you with creation. So again, with them dreams. So you may get an idea in your dream, and the star ancestor giving you that idea. Okay. We have nothing that's set in, set in stone, mutable moon. Uh, number two, under consciousness, present power. Okay, so lions and tigers can be important. Now, these are big cats, right? That's what that's, that's essentially like with a lion, and that that's it, that's a tiger, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a tiger. A lion and like them big cats. So again, I say they come through as cats. So again. Like cats or some shaped, they can manifest in those type of animals. And remember when I was saying something about a safari? So I don't know, they can be a connection. And did I say something about a safari earlier? Yeah. Maybe some of you have like a little, you see how I have like this here? Maybe you have like a little things like this, like of like a tiger or a lion or of like a deity or maybe an angel as well. Like little glass figures or little figures or little trinkets in shapes of certain goddesses or gods even. Or um, a lion, an elephant, or like a necklace or something like that. And like there's a energy attached to those things. So or you can set those things in your altar if you want to make make like a little altar. It ain't got to be nothing too big or nothing like that. Make a little, start a little small one and... Go to that altar and put that energy there and may, maybe even meditate at that altar. Be open to receiving messages, okay? So th th you're being reminded that nothing is set in stone, okay? Everything everything has its time. Everything passes. Nothing is set in, in stone. And you can always make changes 
or change your course as well. Because, again, nothing is set in stone. You have choice. That's what I'm hearing. Okay? Consciousness. Like, you don't realize the type of power that you have. Like, we have harnessed the mystic power. So, power, the word power here is... It's strong. So you have mystic powers. You have, or you have a strong power. I'm hearing something about you have a strong urge to do something, or you being pulled somewhere. That can be again with the end, like the North Star. I'm getting. I'm sorry. I'm getting a message here with this energy and the starborn. Some there's a connection here. What you're saying though, like they is just okay. So the star, the star ancestor is coming through as a masculine. This might actually be one of your uh, like. They might be from like a tribe in the like in, in wherever you're from or something like this was a close. Stars, like a person you were from, from wherever, whatever, you know, you're from, you and this person was close. It could have been somewhat like a brother or some type of relationship like that. But on that plane of existence, of course, it's a certain way y'all do things. So it's saying it's like a brother, but it's not. Y'all call it something else. I don't know. That's what's coming through here. We have number 12, truth. Could be, I think, what is this, an eagle? And answer the call. The time is now. Then I say like you being like you want to go somewhere. Like, and then something is calling you. Are you being pulled towards something? Did I not say that? Something here is also a mystery. It can be. This is here because you don't understand something. You know what I'm saying? Like for some of you don't understand certain messages. They saying some of you may receive a call soon, and this was because this star um, ancestor pulled a string for you. They pulled a whole bunch of strings, and so you're going to be receiving a call for something specific, like an actual phone call. But they saying the time is now to step into this power that you have, the truth. This is something about the truth. Somebody, we're going to keep reminding reminding you who you are. Like, you may feel like no, a nobody here in the 3D world, you know, on Earth. You may seem like, oh, you nobody. You know, you're just in a sea of billions of people. But you are very important on the other side because you're very powerful. You're really advanced soul. So you're really important because, again, star seed, all right? You have a big, powerful mission here. Just, again, like, I got to tell like... See, everybody don't incarnate. Like, souls, it's, no matter if it's, like, souls or star seeds or light workers or whatever, everybody don't incarnate on Earth, no. Only certain energy. Some people incarnate on Earth, they have their little time, and they like, okay, I'm not going back there. That was enough, right? That was enough for me. And my life down there was hectic. I don't want to experience that again because when you in spirit, it, everything is light. Everything is pure. There is no pain. There is no negativity, none of that. You just in light. So, they have some people be like, oh, I'm not going going back to Earth. Forget all that. That was a miserable time. I'm not doing it again, but they end up coming back anyway. And then you have somebody who have multiple lifetimes because, oh, I want to go back and I want to experience of what it's like to be, you know, uh, maybe a dancer or I want to be a doctor in um, my next lifetime. Or I want to experience what it's like to go through alcoholism or what it's like to be on drugs and, you know, how what that's going to be like and how would that affect, you know, my family and my, you know, tribe, whatever. Just like, because then you have your contracts and stuff like that where you come together and you put these things together. But, yeah, some, every soul don't incarnate. They have some souls that never incarnated on earth. Because, I mean, they looking down, they see, I'm, they like, this is a hot mess. I ain't going down there. <laughs> you know what I mean? So just be proud that you actually came down here and you went through. And then you have some of y'all have multiple lifetimes on Earth. Because you got other places you can go. So that just means you just really developed. 
and powerful for sure. That's you strong. And then, you know, a lot of people you don't you don't have to come. You and if you you know your light work or your star seed. It's definitely it's everybody's choice to come, but especially you. You really di didn't do not have to come too advanced because you already advanced. Um, but yeah, it's good to come and to for lessons and things like that, or just to experience like human life. But it's like you here on this earth, and you being constantly reminded who you are and what the truth is. You're here to to give out the truth. That can be your calling for a lot of y'all to to, you know, preach the word or to give out the truth or just to know who you are and to, to glide through life. As long as you know who you are, you can glide through life with ease. As long as you know who you are, it'll help you, you know, okay, you awaken, you know who you are, so you're going to get that help you need. Does that make sense, y'all? Yeah, exactly. See, you guys struggle with a lot of sadness. Like I told you that that um fem that feminine energy was coming through here like this part. Like but it's like healing is here as well. Like healing is here. You they come through when you you cause you you've been through a lot of sadness. This energy here. Like the sister or something, or like this the maternal feminine energy that's there when you when you for you when you cry and stuff of that nature. Remember I was mentioning that. Yeah, you always there and comforting because she's like giving you healing through that as well through those challenging periods. You 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 are a person who very sad. We have the Ace of Earth, all the Ace of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, because you have this number eight here. They probably had an eight somewhere else here as well. But yeah, the page of uh, cups at the bottom of the deck. What's going on, my community? Yeah, I feel like you guys, some of you have trouble with hearing the messages. You are a you are a clear audience, but I think you need to work on like strengthening that ability so you can. Be able to get your messages more clear so it doesn't sound like it's just whispers and you don't understand what they're saying. Or you keep forgetting the conversations that you had in your dream. Especially when you had the ones where it's vivid and you are aware that you're dreaming and people talking to you. But you don't understand what they're saying. So you kind of missing a message. <laughs> so you need to, like, um, figure out what you can do. Like, get a meditation routine. Okay? And you got to strengthen... That crown chakra, for sure, okay? And the root chakra, so you can get the messages, the downloads through the crown, so you can remember the damn messages, or you can know, excuse my language, and that root chakra will help you ground them in the earth so they can, so you can remember everything and bring it back down to earth with you, right? Um, but the page of cups here, yeah, psych heightened psychic abilities, sensitive, like you are a sensitive person. Messages regarding like this emotional experience, like a lot of emotions here as well, like I was mentioning that. This star ancestor is definitely helping you with your uh, finances as well. They come in with the abundance, like again, they pull some strings. You may receive a call or some type of funding are they gonna help you with finding a job and stuff like that or giving you ideas or sending you into direction so you can get a certain job or to make a certain amount of money that star ancestor is helping you with that as well at this time so it's helping you with the growth of your abundance and your career um they your star ancestor are there and they give you messages on whether or not you should sign certain contracts or whatever. Some, they come through not just in your dreams, but like when you go to sign contracts and stuff like that, when you're there filling out paperwork, even if it's for like an appointment and stuff like that, your star ancestor, ancestor is there. So like they actually help you with your memory in general, you know? So you might be like, damn, what's the... What's my number? Or what's that what's what's that number again? And you'd be like, oh, you know, three, two, six, seven, eight, or whatever the case may be. That star ancestor gave you that information. Like it felt like it just randomly popped up in your head. That's the star ancestor. Or you forget something 
You know how you walk up in a room and you like, you get up to go get something. You walking up in a room and you like, what I came in here for again? And then you you about to walk out the room and then you remember the star ancestor is the one that gave you that memory. Okay? You specifically. That's not the case for everybody. But yeah, you watching this group. And then you have the Eight of Swords. This is um, the re like reminding you that you're not trapped here. Like you're not just you're not trapped in your human body. You may feel like you're trapped, but you're not because you have the number eight here, which is like the infinity sign. This is kind of reminding you that the soul is eternal. Again, you are soul. You're not a human, right? You you just this is just the maneuver you through the physical world. You can't be in a physical world without a physical body. I mean, you can't have a life or be act without a physical body. So you know that's why when somebody pass, and then when they come through, and they decease, like when uh, mediums or whatever channel for people, they be like, you know, I'm there, but I don't have a physical body. So it's kind of hard for me to let you know, hey, you know, I'm around because they don't have the physical body to let you know that they around you, you know what I mean? Unless that person is open, you can see spirit, unless you're a medium yourself, that's why, right? So you need this body to maneuver through this world, but you're not trapped here. Don't ever think that you're trapped in this world. And that's um, this deity, this guy that's coming through here, <clears throat> letting you know, you know, you're eternal and your power is eternal. Your gifts are eternal. The soul is eternal. Right. And also there's a message coming through here not to fear death. Right. Because, you know, <clears throat> some of you may be still a little bit scared of death, maybe not as much as you were. But, you know, you know, you never truly die. But, yeah, don't fear. Don't fear death. When your time going to come, you're going to leave. You're going to go somewhere very beautiful. Don't think there's any punishment or nothing after this life. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, I split the deck, and there's a page of pentacles. I remember earlier when I was going to say the page of pentacles when I saw this page of cups, but it's interesting, this page of pentacles right here. So, yeah, also, you know, the star ancestor can, can be coming through here as well when you study, like when it comes to, like, your schoolwork and, like, having to remember stuff when you take a test or something like that. Like, things like that, they come in a lot um, during that time. Like, times like that, when it comes to, like, remembering stuff or getting creative ideas to, to start stuff, when you first begin in something, they, your star ancestor is there. That spirit guide is there guiding you. Or, like, when you read a book or whatever, or you want to remember the title or something, or, you know, anything related to that, that's when that star ancestor comes through a lot. But yeah, um, do we have any other message here with the tarot? Should I pull? Are, she, are we done? Like we done? But yeah, that's who came through here for y'all. Again, these were the letters and stuff that came through. It's a blank. It can be something here is a mystery with the M and a blank, like something something is a mystery. But yeah, you got you guys had three us. Uh, um, spirit guys that came through here, but you have more than three spirit guys, but this is the one that came through, okay? Mm, but yeah, you have a message about eternal here, the number eight, abundance as well. Like, you're going to have a lot of abundance come into your life as well, so they, they come together, help you with your abundance. Yeah, a lot of dream messages come through. Maybe you do hear drums or... um what will really help you guys in your meditation? Maybe you actually do need sound when you meditate. They got some people who don't need sound or who do just fine without sound. Or you need, like, you need certain, you don't need nobody talking to you, guy, and you. You need certain beats and frequencies. But you ain't gonna better get through it if somebody talking to you because you say it's too distracting. That's something that I'm hearing. You need beats. And then they have some people who need somebody speaking to them, guiding them. Then they have, they have some people who just, need silence maybe you just maybe you need to like look up certain beats or that'll help you with certain chakras or um that'll help you raise your vibration things like that so just get into that because you i need you to be open well i i, I want you to be open but you know your spirit guide spirit wants you to be open you know you always have choice but if you open up like this you will get so much guidance 
and your life will become so much easier. Now, some of you, you're experiencing this now, and you're like, okay, this is my confirmation. Everything going good. That's wonderful. But yeah, I feel like some of y'all need to tap into this energy, okay? So that's all I have for everyone who selected group one. Thank you guys for watching. Please do not forget to thumbs this video up. If you did like the reading, they'll be very much appreciated. Um, if you would like your own personal reading that's kind of like this or any other type of reading, you can email me. My email is in the description, and I can see what I can do for you. Of course, you know, if this group didn't resonate, if I didn't say that already, you can always pick a different group. And until next time, beautiful people, love y'all, wishing y'all luck. Bye-bye. So, hello and welcome to everyone who selected group three. I don't know if these letters was lined up like this, but they kind of like <laughs> fumbled over when I had placed them up, up there when I was like moving the cards. It really does not matter. How y'all doing? So, we're going to be seeing who your spirit guides are. Now, all of your spirit guides are not going to come through because you have a big team of spirit guides. And, you know, certain ones come in at certain periods of your life. And, you know, they do shift. They be in shifts and stuff during like the new year and human time and different seasons and birthday times and stuff like that they be shifting out we're gonna see the ones who are active at this time like really active for you at this time that's what's coming through here in this group or who comes through it may just be one and maybe two three four however many will decide to come through and yeah we'll just see if you don't hear from the one you want to hear from you like okay i know such and such is one of my spirit guys because i talk to him or i know this and that it's okay they can still be it's just these the ones that want to make themselves be known okay so you guys pick the t the two t's an r a nine and a six now this can be important to you i'm hearing the name terrence so maybe maybe that's your name or you know somebody like maybe um, that's somebody you know name, and it's just confirming this you're reading. I'm hearing something about Roman or something about Rome or I don't know. I'm hearing room. Something about a room. There's a specific room with you got a specific room, somebody. Only take this if it resonate with a lot of stuff everywhere. And you looking for a cert something like a certain something, but you've been avoiding going in that room. And you're like, I just don't want to go up in that room looking for it because I just don't want to go through all that stuff. Are you supposed to go through stuff or organize something and you don't want to do it? And you being told, like, you need to go up in there and organize that room, okay? Because in that room, amongst that organizing that stuff, whether it be through paper or clothing or you just got a whole bunch of shit thrown everywhere, look, I'm not going to judge you, okay? Um... You may find something that was lost in that, that that you needed or that you need or that's something that you're looking for or something that you forgot about. Get Go through that stuff, y'all, okay? Or who, whomever this message is for, all right? Because instead of going through that rummaging through stuff to try to find stuff, you need to go straighten that stuff out because actually clutter is, is not good for your energetic field anyway. So go through the... Really. Or some of, some of y'all need to go through stuff that like that you consider trash, but you know because you know somebody like some you know that little saying trash is treasure that can be a message here. Yeah? I don't know how to how that little saying goes. Something about trash or something you consider trash is actually treasure. There's something about like a fa family heirloom or whatever those things call like an heirloom or. You may have a jewelry piece or maybe it can be a ring. It can be a necklace or a pair of earrings or like a clothing. Something here somebody gave you, this person passed away or it was something that was passed down from, from you to you. There's an energy. You know everything has an energy on it. 
or you have an attachment to a certain thing because you was close to that person and maybe they no longer here on the physical, their energy is attached to it. That's why when, like, if you go to, if you've ever been to a medium or when people go to mediums, they'd be like, oh, you know, if you have an item, just bring it because they, of that person, because they energy on the person. Or maybe that person owned the item and you just took it or something, their energy on it. Therefore, you know, that person is in your field. That soul is in your field. Well, they are soul, you know. So they're around you. Like, you keeping that keeps them around you. Or uh, that does keep them close to you. That's something that's coming through here. Maybe you needed to hear that. Something about torrents. I'm not sure why that's coming through here. Romance. Something about a toe. I don't know, somebody had an issue with their toe. Maybe you broke your toe or maybe one of your toes don't look like the other ones. And this, this could just be confirming this your reading here. The numbers nine and six can... Somebody's birthday is on the ninth or in the ninth month. Is either on the ninth, in the ninth month, or is the ninth of any month. And the February can be important. Maybe Valentine's Day. I did say something about romance. I'm not sure why that's coming through here. It also depends on when you're watching this reading, so I don't know. Maybe maybe some of y'all was born on February 14th, or maybe it's like an anniversary coming up here for somebody you related to, and this is just confirming. I'm hearing teardrops falling. Like, I'm actually, I'm not hearing somebody say teardrops falling. I'm seeing, uh, like, this big-ass figure. Like, it's a person, they big. They come through as like a giant and they teardrops are you remember like how Alice in Wonderland, like when she had got big, when she had big, you remember how she was too small, then she bit and she was too damn big. <laughs> but then remember when she was crying, she made this big ass river river. That's how them tears falling down. Except this actually looks like a human like like a flesh and blood. It don't look like a cartoon. But they is fought like the tears of like your tears have power. That's what's coming through here. Or your tears are like your tears make you stronger. It could be that. Or they are your tears are being caught. Your tears making them are you like I've cried so much I can make my own damn river. You know what I mean? That's what I hear for that, okay? So I'm gonna move this over to the side. Whew. Let's see. Who are your spirit guides? We have the snake, shed old skin, the warrior, be fearless and stand strong. We have the healer, and then we have the wheel here. It's a wheel of fortune. Again, this stuff is in the way again this time, but I just still wanted y'all to still see it in case something comes to your mind where you can look over there and you remember a certain word. It could be a certain word or something that needs your attention or a name, anything like that. Number 10. Then you have the king of water. Okay, so they got a strong masculine energy coming through here in this reading. And then we have connect with fire. I'm going to stop right there, I think. I think I stopped there with the last group, too. Maybe these cards kind of lined up a little bit. Okay, so the fire element. You may be close to the fire element, okay? Fire is important to you. You may just be a person who's very passionate. Or if you're not passionate about life, you're not going to be happy. If you're not in your passion, you're not going to be happy. That's why you got to find you specifically. You got to find your passion if you haven't. Or if you're doing your passion, then that's great. You're on the right track. But the reason why you're not happy is because you're not in your passion. You're not doing something that you're passionate about and you need to find it immediately. That's something that's coming through. You have a stern. They got a spirit guy coming through here kind of stern a little bit like. She, they got to do what they supposed to be doing, man. Huh? That's what's coming through. They coming through as the, the fire element, right? And, you know, that's that energy of action, of passion, of drive. 
if getting shit, you know, getting it done and stuff, that root chakra is strong here as well as that uh, solar plexus chakra. So maybe, you know, that solar plexus chakra needs some work. Because I am seeing these yellows and that root chakra needs some work here. Or like that's what you and that uh, power, like that's where your power lies. You know, that that's, uh, solar plexus chakra is about power, you know. And I, you need to find a way to ground that power what's coming through here. Now, there can be a warrior who is your spirit guide or can be a person who is a soldier. Like, they could have been a soldier who, maybe you know somebody who was a soldier who passed away. And, like, or this can be, maybe you have, like, a great, great, great grandfather. They probably was a soldier. Or they probably was in, you know, um, one of those wars from back in the day. I'm not going to say a specific war, you know, because they got a lot of people watching. And you're like, oh, that can be my grandpa this. Or, you know what I mean? I've only ever seen pictures of him, but, you know, he can be one of your spirit guides. Okay? Because um, this coming through as like a mask. I know masculine and feminine energy is not to genders, but for your human mind to understand, it's saying it's a, a strong man coming through here. And I'm getting a shaman. Somebody got you. Well, some of y'all got a shaman who, a person who was a shaman when they was in a shaman from years, years ago. This shaman and you collaborated a lot together. You worked with this shaman. You may have been a shaman in a past life um, that's coming through here with this healer. The snake spirit is important. You may have a serpent here that's one of your spirit guides. Or your spirit guide comes through as a serpent, as a snake. Now, don't be scared of the snake. You know, people think of snake and think of evilness. But there's also this healing energy coming through here as well, like healing, healing, healing. Um, this snake comes in when you're in periods of healing. Maybe you always dream a lot about snakes or, you know, you see a lot of imageries about snakes. Maybe some of you guys have a snake tattoo or, again, like imageries of a snake. Like, look into the snake spirit. And you also have a spirit guy who is very, again, protective here. You do have the Archangel Michael. Maybe you have, like, you feel close to Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael might stand close to you in your energy. There is the energy of the the uh, angel of protection, right? And then you have the warrior, which warriors protect and you know and serve and things like that, right? So you may have some like some warriors or like a soldier, or something that's a spirit guide here that's coming through here. You have like a snake spirit coming through here because you you have literally have a snake twice, shed old skin. So when that snake spirit comes through here. Or that spirit guy who presents themselves as a snake. It's a lot of times when you're going through transitions. And you're like, they come in, because certain spirit guys come in at certain periods or when in certain things that you're doing. So they come through when you going through transitioning periods in your life or like something big happening. Like, for example, I'm just giving this as an example. Like, when you have, have a baby or something like that, for example, like if you... Whenever you have a baby or if you had a baby, that snake spirit was there during that period because after you had that baby, your life is transitioning, right? That's something that's coming through here. Like, you, your life is about to change if you have that baby. Or when you go through a health issue, uh, specifically a physical health issue, maybe you battled with some type of illness or a disease. Or, like, even when you get a cold or anything like that, if you have the flu, that snake spirit is there healing you, right? The snake spirit is there. You may have, again, some of you may have dreams of a snake, but the snake spirit is swirling around you and, and sending out that energetic energy for healing, right? Um, or they there with you doing your doctor's appointments and things like that. When you go see a doctor, whether it be a 3D doctor or like a certain healer, it can be a spiritual healer. Or um, when you have any dealings with stuff like that with healing, um, that snake spirit is there during that particular time. Um, if you like have a pain and things like that, that snake spirit comes in. When you are in danger, that's when the warrior comes through. That's when that soldier comes through to give you that good feeling. Hey, you know what? You in danger or you shouldn't do this because that's going to put you in danger, Right to stop you from going to a certain place. Now, you would think, okay, well, that's my intuition or that's that good feeling. No, I'm just saying that warrior spirit, that soldier comes through to keep you from doing stuff that's going to put you in danger or protect you from um, potential negative people. Maybe that's some of y'all feel like you ain't got no friends or 
Um, it feels like people are afraid of you, afraid to ask you to out or ask you out on a date or it's like you can't get a date or something like that. That's because you have this energetic shield around you. That's that soldier coming through here. Again, and again, Archangel Michael here as well. But that soldier, that warrior energy is around you, keeping you. Because they already know that man or that woman don't have good intentions. They want to come into your life and call chaos and conflict. And you don't need that. That can be why romance came through here to keep you from potentially abusive partners or partners that's coming in to use. You want to take, get everything, like take everything you got or who or who's a scam, maybe like a romance scammer or something like that. I think that's that word. Or just they don't have good intentions. And that worry is protecting you from that energy. It can be that your personal relationships, platonic or uh, romantic, like they keep you from like, if you want to say the energy vampires or, you know, the people who, you know, have nothing but darkness around them. And so you being protected, that's when that energy comes through him. And also get you up. Like they be there too doing like when you say, okay, I want to go and I want to go work out or something like that. They, they, they get you out of their bed, like get your tail up and go work out. All right. So if you're somebody who work out, they don't want to push you to get up, go work out, move your body. Take the action or to push you to do something. You've been putting something off. Like, okay, it's time to get up. It's time to, to go get this done. Right? That's when that's when the warrior comes through here. Right? But then you have this shaman energy that be coming through here. I told you that they had a shaman coming through here. Who dealt with you. And I feel like the shaman also come through here. I'm also sensing like... Um, because I am, for some of you, the shaman is mixed. But I'm also sensing, like, a, a masculine energy. Like, it could be, like, a again, somebody, great-great-grandfather or something coming through the head. Like, it's like it's mixed. Like, if your grandfather somebody was a soldier, they coming through here as a king of water, or they were somebody who protected you a lot, or they served to protect, maybe they was a police officer, or did some type of security job or something like that. And you knew them or something, or a brother. It's coming through as more of like a man. And if you did know them this lifetime, like for some of you, they gonna help you find the right man for you. For some of y'all, or, or, or the right woman. But for some of you, they gonna help you find the right man because they not here physically. So they like, I'm gonna help you on the other side find the right man, the right person. But for now, you know, I'm gonna be with that worry. We gonna team up. We gonna protect you. So they working together. Now that shaman energy comes through a lot. They coming through mixed here with this. See, time for a positive change. The shaman energy comes through here. They tapping on it. They tapping the third eye. When does the shaman, when do you come through from? They saying I'm here all the time at all periods. So I feel like you and this shaman, this person was a shaman in the past life. Like, again, y'all make y'all when when the when when you was making a deal for this lifetime, they was like, you know what? Um like, when y'all incarnated that life together, before y'all incarnated that past life, y'all said, okay, we're going to do this lifetime together, but the next one, you know, I'm going to just be your guidance. Not because I don't want to incarnate. You actually told them, like, just stay behind. They ain't want, it's not that they didn't want to come back. They said, I'm going to be your guidance, and then you're going to do me. So, it's like, y'all taking turns, so the next lifetime, you're going to actually be one of their guides. Cause I don't know, it's something. This your, this was your, this your, like you close, really close to this. So you and this soul like, like this. I'm seeing a crystal ball. <laughs> so I mean, you know, that's a form of like, chant like divination channeling, crystal channeling. So, a uh, watching.
Okay, so they also help in with the changes. So they like, I tap in, I help in. Like, they help with each of these people. Like, people. Some of them were, like, were humans at some point. But um, they help each of these spirit guides as well. Like, they come in and help them, too. So, I don't know. This is your road, dog, or something like that. You and this soul like this. Cause you 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 do have like higher level soul uh, mates. Not that not, it doesn't just have to be a romantic higher level. So they have soul mates that you are more closer to than others. And I feel like you're really closer to this shaman energy. Yeah. So you be pushed to drive like the warrior in them. They give you the drive. And then the healer gives you the intuition to go, like, you have to drive. Okay, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to go here. They they give you that intuition. They they tapping on the third eye. They, help, they keep that third eye strong. They said, I came in, especially when you was a child, when you used to see, uh, some of you actually saw your deceased loved ones transition. For some of y'all, I saw them and they was like, they supposed to be in hospice and stuff like that. But you actually saw them. But how you saw them in their hospice, that's because they so, you know, cause you know when they be, you know, sleeping and stuff like that a lot when they about to transition, when they be in like hospice or they, you know, they, they dying. Um, they be just, they already on the other side. Yeah, when they, they, they be already on the other side. Basically, they be in and out of the body. But... That's why you saw them or you saw them, like, transition. Some of them, you do see them. You, you see them, like, get, leave out of their body. You may have seen that when you was younger. Or seen, like, a deceased ancestor or, like, somebody who was dead for years and years and years. And you seen them. So, it was like they was giving you, they was showing you that person. They was actually there, like, during that period. They wanted you to see that. We have... Didn't I just say, y'all, I swear I don't be knowing what this <laughs> was un under these decks. I promise you. Didn't I just say something about a, a, a romance? Romance or romance? Romantical? I'm, I mean romantical. I like something about romance. Like, they may help you with romance, but keep they, you have a specific partner. They want you with the best of the best, so they're helping you with romance as well. So they opening your heart up. They also be there like the 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 fatherly type of energy is there when you need advice, when you asking for advice and stuff like that. Because I do see that here, or like when you giving back, that father energy is around or like that. You know, fatherly energy, that masculine fatherly energy is there as well. But, you know, you're also being, your heart is open. Like, they finding you romance. But it's like you have these energies around you who's protecting you. Because they want you with the right man. Or like the the right woman. It depends on, you know, who watching. I'm here because my baby girl, our baby girl, deserve the best. I'm not sure why I'm hearing that. But that, mostly women watch my channel, y'all. So I'm sorry if you're not a woman, you know, our baby boy, boy or like our baby deserves the best. <clears throat> but yeah, they, you're, they helping you with romance as well. Which one? Not one specifically, all of them around helping. So it's a lot of, they, they one of them will be the main thing for a specific thing, but then you have other one of them be there too. Like, oh, we want to come in and help with you, help you with this section too, because everybody's spirit guys operate different. They have like a different way they do stuff, and different soul groups have different way they do stuff. So, yeah. Now, for some of you, this could be somebody you were, like, it could be, it probably not like a divine partner. It's probably just like a regular soulmate who was like a lover in a past life who's coming through here. You know, they might have was a lover who, in a past life and they just wanted to, they just feel like it's owed to you to help you find, you know, your divine counterpart this lifetime. So they may come in and help sometime too. 
and maybe we have joyous fun number seven under energy you can take into account any numbers you may see here joyous fun we have integrate you got another effing snake okay so one of your spirit guys is definitely a snake y'all i promise i don't be knowing what's up under here i swear look at the snake the snake spirit is important integration they, it ain't integration coming together like when you integrate. Didn't I say your spirit guides work a lot? I mean, everybody's spirit guides work a lot together. But like I said, certain spirit guides will come in at certain points. But even when a spirit guide doing, like one of your spirit guides doing something, they're like, okay, I'm the spirit guides who heal when it's time for romance or to find love or to protect. You still, They still want to come in and help and watch and put a, play a part in that. If you get what I'm saying. Number 33 coming through here could be important. Yeah, didn't I mention something about your childhood? They may also help with your childhood. That shaman may actually help with your inner child healing as well. Like they help with the inner child. They help you healing your inner child. They help you. They help me right now, especially if you're doing that now. We also have great adventure. Take risk, risk venture forward. Then we talk about the fire. Y'all, this stuff matches up, right? Spirit, if spirit wants a message, it is going spirit gonna send a message. But you take risk, uh, fire energy, take risk, and 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 goes forward, right? And it's some about adventure and joyous fun. But yeah, like they come together integration. Also, maybe when you come together with. Uh, maybe a specific love interest, they bringing that into your life as well as pushing you to take risk because you do have the the aura here, taking risk. And it's kind of reminding me of like a Sagittarius energy with this nine coming through with like the ninth house and stuff. And then the sixth house, like with health and things like that, like maybe, you know, um, that snake spirit be coming through as well as when you go to make certain decisions with your nutrition and food and, you know, things like that with your body. And then, like, that warrior spirit may come through and help out with the risk taking. And then, you know, you have that fire element as well. Maybe you even have the fire element that's strong in your energy. Maybe you see a lot of fire or you see fire in your eyes or you've had dreams of fire or you see a fire truck a lot and things like that. But you definitely somebody who's got to have a lot of passion and like take risk. So, you know, they come in and help with that. Because that's where your joy comes from. That's where the fun comes from. That's how you get excited about life. Wow, we got the four wands. Yeah, so much to celebrate. Send gratitude uh, to the to the angels. Peace, prosperity. Yeah, so it's something here about like a union as well, like a romantic union, because that is the four of wands. So essentially, like they uh, help you with your finding your partner. I can't make this up. The chariot and the knight of wands. We just talking about that. Yeah, you see, if you're not passionate about life, you're going to be very bored. You're going to be discontent. Like discontent. You, you're going to be lost. And you're going to miss a lot of opportunities. And you're going to miss the point. You you don't recognize magic. You you lose desire of wanting to be in the world. Like You'll start to be like, okay, I don't want to hurt myself. I don't want to take myself out of this world. But I'm kind of ready to leave Earth. I just don't fit in here. Bye-bye. I'm ready to go. So that's because you ain't find your passion yet. You need to find your passion, right? But yeah, wait a minute. You can see like this, like a six nine with a chariot, and then you have a nine and a six, right? So I don't know. Maybe this number uh, combination is important, like the Cancer symbol. I mean, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Which is interesting because the other group had. Well, I'm not going to say it.
Maybe some of you are like Cancers or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You don't have to be, though. Yeah, determination. Determination, like they willpower, like in strength. Passionate. You got to be passionate. Taking risks. Being, like sometimes even being reckless. Stepping out of a routine. You're not the person who need to, who, like, you can't be in doing the same thing for a long time. Or you can't just be in one routine for a long time. Or, like, doing one thing for a long time. Because you get bored really easily. And that's why you got this snake. It's, you know how a, a snake be set, skin, shedding skin, right? So you always got to be doing something new. You always got to keep constantly moving into a new direction. And that's a lot of times like the warrior, the shaman, the the soldier, the fatherly energy, they come together and they keep you moving forward. Like they're trying to get you to find your passion. Are you going to keep on having to do, like, doing different stuff until you find your passion? They keep guiding you. But you're going to find that you're going to stick with it. But, yeah, they also help you with your with a union as well. Because, again, you get really... I'm hearing, I'm saying something about balance, too, because that's really the thing. And there's temperance, which temperance is Aries. I mean, it's Aries. It's Sagittarius. Maybe an Aries. And some of y'all might be an Aries. Y'all, maybe this soldier person was an Aries. But um, something about balance, because, you know, it's saying here, balancing many priorities. Like, you... Did I did I meant didn't I say something about like decluttering, getting your shit together? Like, oh, that wasn't for the last group, was it? That can be why a snake here shedding old skin, like getting rid of old stuff, uh, like going through old stuff, like, organizing stuff. I could be wrong. But, you know, they help you with that go-getter energy. Because, see, you got this masculine coming through here. So, they that we, like, we the masculine one. Like, and we're going to help you balance this feminine. Because, you know, the king of water is a masculine energy. But water is a feminine, like, suit. Right? It's a feminine element. So, you, you you need that balance with the snake and with the healer and the warrior right on side of each other. This would be more feminine. The warrior would be more masculine. So, like, you're supposed to be doing that in this lifetime. Like, you're not just supposed to be, like, straight up feminine. Well, everybody has that balance. But I feel like you do well with being leaning in the masculine more so. Because, you know, you got a lot of feminists who just lean more in the feminine. And then you got their masculine in them because everybody has it in them. But you do well leaning more in that masculine energy. Um, and that's where you belong, really. Not saying you're a masculine, you still be a feminine, but I'm just saying. Like, that can be a lesson for you this lifetime as well. I split the deck and I just seen the lovers. They also may help you with like making choices. Who helps with the choices? They say the snake does as well. Like they help with the choices. When it's time to make a big decision, that snake comes through, come hissing. But yeah, that's all I have. For everyone who selected group two. So who what energies came through here for you? The snake? Spirit came through like one a snake, a serpent may be a spirit guide of yours, or you know, they show up at or this spirit guide shows up as a snake. Um, this can be your animal spirit, you know. Um, the warrior could have been like an actual warrior from back in the day, or somebody was somebody relative or something from down like from years ago is coming through as a soldier protector, but then you again that warrior energy too. Then you have, like, a fatherly energy coming through here. It's like some of y'all is mixed up the same. That's why I'm saying it's integration. Sometimes they just come in. Maybe all they come in together and they come as a big-ass snake. You know what I mean? Excuse my language, but that's what's coming through here. I, I don't know, but I'm hearing something about dragons can be important, too. Like, dragons. 
symbolism with dragons. I don't know if you have like a, I'm seeing, seeing something about like a pendant or something here with a dragon. Or you have like a shirt or a hoodie or something with a dragon on there and it's just confirming something. But yeah, that's all I have for everyone who selected group two. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like the video, please don't forget to thumbs it up. Um, you know, if you would like your own personal reading that has something to do with this, you can or get any type of reading you would like to. I do offer private readings and my email is in the description and you can message me and I can see what I can do for you. If this group did not resonate, if I didn't say this already, you can always uh, choose another group. And uh, until next time, beautiful people, I love y'all. Wishing you luck. Have a good one, okay? These first. Hello and welcome to everyone who selected group three. I want to say last but not least, whatever that means. You know how to be like last but not least. Um, I don't know why I won't say that. I think that's a message more so for y'all. <laughs> um, you may be last but not least, or you feel like you always come in last. But yeah, welcome to everybody who selected group three, which is interesting because this is the last. Well, this is the last group, so yeah, you feel like it's always. Maybe you always pick the last group, whatever number, whether somebody got eight groups or four groups, you always pick the last one. But yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. Welcome to everyone who selected group three. Thank you, uh, guys, for tuning into the reading. I was about to say thank you guys for watching. Well, thank y'all for watching. I'm thanking y'all already. It's not even the end. But, um, yeah, you guys um, picked the A, the N, and the zero. Now, we're going to see in this reading, like, what your spirit guides have to say and who your spirit, well, who your spirit guides are. Now, you know... All your spirit guides are not going to come through. Like maybe one may come through, three, four, five, whatever, six, seven, I don't know. Um, but the ones who want to be shown is going to come out. Or, you know, who may be active right now or, you know, you know, certain spirit guides come in at certain points. You know, they do shift changes and stuff at certain points. Like they shift change and like doing like New Year's and stuff like that. They switch out. Um, certain ones start to come in and work and stuff like that. And they change on different seasons, on birthdays and things like that. So it all depends. Um, if you ever want me to talk about that, I can do, make a video on that. But yeah, um, so that's what we see. So maybe you like, I know such and such is my spirit guide. Well, you know, they may not come through, okay? So, you know. Or maybe you're just curious. You want to see just to see. Maybe you don't know anything. We'll see. Okay. So you guys pick the A, the N, and the zero. So this going to be like certain words, like certain letters that start with, well, certain words that start with the letter A and N. Um, it's interesting because I'm not getting a lot of channel messages uh, with, with those letters. Like, see how I'm going to yawn. So maybe you've been sleepy or you need to get some rest or something. I'm seeing, okay, now I'm hearing anonymous, something about something being anonymous. Or you prefer to be anonymous or, like, not to be seen. I'm hearing like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, like the alphabet. And maybe something is in order, like alphabetical order. You know, it's in order. 
I'm hearing never again, like you did something you like never again or never do that again. You did something and like your spirit guys can be telling you never do that again. Zero be for new beginnings and stuff. Maybe this has a meaning to you. Maybe it's the last number of a phone number or something like that's the zero is the last number or like of a, maybe a code or something that you have or. Maybe a, I'm hearing something about like a case number. You may have something going on. You have like a case number. I'm seeing like lightning and I'm hearing, I'm hearing thunder and I see lightning. And like the, like, like the weather is bad or something. Let's see. That's kind of all I'm getting for that. I don't know, like a lot didn't come through with these for y'all. Which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. See who your spirit guys are. We have the eagle. See from a higher perspective. The seer. See beyond your current situation. So it's a lot about seeing here. We have the comic. Which is interesting. You can see these eyes. The Ace of Air. Something about seeing. But you can see with your mind's eye, we have the Hermit. We have number two here, a long time taken into account in the numbers you may see. And I think I'm going to stop there. See, they go there yawning again. Some of you feel like you're going in circles or you can't see something. You can't see. Are you being blinded so you keep going in circles? Or you keep repeating the same cycles? Or at least you feel like it and maybe you're not. I feel like only, I'm okay, I'm going to be honest, only one spirit guy making themselves known because I'm seeing one. Okay, so this person is a ancestor who's coming through here. Well, this this spirit guy, this so they was a person. They was was a they did incarnate as a human. Um, so again, like this one of your ancestors, they had a life long, long time, long, long time ago, and you may have a family of gifted um, individuals. Like your family is gifted. Like you always had a seer in each like lifetimes like in each century or whatever you want to say or like something like that i don't know maybe i'm wrong with the century but you, you every so many years there always was a seer okay because you do have seer coming through here or somebody who sees and that's just in your bloodline uh, okay Maybe some of y'all had people like witches in your uh, family here. Okay, so I'm seeing an ancestor and it could be someone who was like a witch or something. And um, she, uh, the witch is here w making sure you use like if you, t if you like a witch or you use like fails or whatever, they make sure that you keep it on the positive side, that you don't tap into that dark energy because this person or this soul actually did tap into dark energy and it had like a lot of consequences they had to pay for. That's why you had a lot of trouble in your family. Like maybe your family had a lot of people who did really bad things or they had a lot of addictions in your family. That because a lot of consequences of using dark magic in the past are using the magic for the wrong reasons. I'm not saying every witch was like that. I'm just saying, you know, it might have been in your, like, or somebody did something and messed something up. And so the consequences are, okay, 
you gonna have a family, you're gonna always have alcoholics in a family, or people with addictions, or people who deal with a lot of shit, you know, abuse and stuff. But you know, there is karmic depth and stuff. Like, you know, the things that your ancestors do, a lot of the time, you know, the descendants and people later on, you will be paying for it, okay? The fact, and you gotta fix it, fix what they messed up. And so that's why this witch or this seat, like this, they specifically coming through as like a specific oh, witch. Not every seer is a witch, but they coming through as one is here to help you fix this. You do have a ancestor that's coming through here. They they quite funny with that comic coming through here. They a clown. Um, maybe you see a lot of imageries of a clown or like a lot of rainbows. Um, so they there a lot of times when you are at your happiest moments, this ancestor. As well, like the not the witch one, but the ancestor here. This was like a very short. They, they show me as like them as a short elderly woman. Like she's really short. Like maybe four, eight or something like that. Five foot, five feet or whatever. Like you have to put that in whatever, however you measure height in your country. Depending on who you watch, go type it in Google. But yeah, um, she's just short. Like she like, yeah, I'm here. I'm just here helping her. And um, they, she's saying her, but you can still be a him. Laugh and keep a vibration high. So, just to keep you laugh, keep you laughing. Like you ever like had those times where you crying, but you like start laughing. You think about something funny. Like that's that ancestor coming through here. <laughs> you may have a lot of inner work to do because again, you it, it's not your fault. Okay, but you know you're gonna be paying for what they did. Like you, cause you gotta fix it. And so that is why you got to do a lot of, you know, this work and spend a lot of this a long time with this Herman energy coming through it. It's a long time energy because it's like you're doing a lot of that work, right? But see, see from high perspective, you also have the seer energy. Like you the seer or you the person who is supposed to use these gifts for positive my positivity because maybe you did have a lot of people who use their gifts or their power or you know had spells and stuff they use them for the right reason and so you the one that's why you're so different um and that's why okay we're gonna send you in here you and you, you volunteer i mean you everybody volunteers to come but you volunteer to sp fix this specific issue in your family that's why you're so different that's why you ain't never like struggle with addiction but everybody around you did i'm just giving this as an example that's why you didn't do this or that, but everybody around you did. So you coming in to fix that. Or that's why they have this certain way of doing stuff. Or and they just so obsessed with something culturally, but you're not. And you got to break that pattern, right? So you came in, you knew it was going to be a tough job before you came in. It's hard, right? It's not easy. But you fixing it. So that, that, um... Which energy or that seer is here to help because they did some of the damage. So they like, I need to, I'm going to be a spirit guide for you. You know, before you incarnated here, they had already had their time on earth. And it was like, okay, you know, I played a role in it that like when, when I did the things that I did. So I'm going to be a spirit guide and help guide you this lifetime and help you through fixing this issue that a lot of us caused, Right. And it's kind of like, they kind of like apologizing in a way. You know, so I'm not saying you cursed or nothing. It's just like depth that, you know, it's sad that you, it's not sad because you did choose, you didn't have to. You was like, I'll go, I'll go ahead on and fix it. You, you was like, I'll do it. You know, you, y'all making the contracts and doing the things. You're like, okay, I'm going to do it. I'll do it then. I don't mind going down there and do it. I'll fix it. So that's, that was your choice. Now, you ain't know how hard it was going to be, but yeah, they were like, okay, well, I'm going to just help you. I'm going to just sit here and help you since, you know, me and such and such, we caused this. You know, I, went, I was one of the first witches or seers, and I was mad, so I used dark magic, which put a curse on the family. And so while you, you might have had a lot of people in your family go to prison or, di again, did a lot of bad things and, 
you know, maybe not, you know, people that's really close to you. Not everybody, I'm just saying, but it's a lot of them in your family. So, you know, you, it's up to you to cure, like, cure that, to break that cycle, you know. Oh, Lord, who is this? <laughs> Why? And then they got me shuffling the card. They said, I'm the old one. I'm the wise one. I don't know who you is. I don't know. This could be somebody. They're probably not even a spirit guy. <laughs> I don't know who you is, but I'm not channeling that right now. Unless there's somebody trying to come through. Who is Who this is? <laughs> okay, this is not a spirit guy. This could be somebody. <laughs> I don't know who this is. Like, when I go to open the channel and I'm channeling the spirit, they got some random energy coming through. I don't know who you is, but... They, it's an old... It's a, it's showing... They're showing themselves like as an old man. Like, but I'm not sure who you is. Like, you a spirit guide or... <laughs> okay, they want to come in and say hi. Somebody saying hi, like somebody knows somebody, an old man. It could be a deceased loved one wanting to come through since this channel is open. No, they like, I just want to come and say hi. This a, They showing up like an old man. They was homeless or something. They give me the energy. Hey, I was homeless. <laughs> and they said homeless. And they showing me the 1970s. But I'm just, I'm trying to channel for these people now. Like, you can't just be walking up in here now. <laughs> it's crazy, y'all. They just like standing around like, I just want to watch. <laughs> Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. Number three under cycle. 43, letting go. And uh, rejuvenate. Right, clear the past, heal the present. Yo, I can't make this. Like, clear the past, you gotta like clean up some stuff. Like, and also, it can also be this spirit guy here, here, like this older woman that's coming through here, like she's short or whatever, is helping you with like clearing the past and letting go or letting go of burdens and like being in the present moment. So she comes in a lot when, when you need to like be to bring you back in the present as well. But yeah, there's something about fixing like an issue and because not everybody everybody don't have curses or you want to say generational curses or trauma in their bloodline a lot of people don't have that but you specifically got it and you know what i'm talking about it could be a certain thing that always happened in your family or you got a lot of people who like this in your family that's because of something that's somebody from messed with some type of dark magic or somebody made some type of deal or did something they did something here that kind of toe up the bloodline a little bit. I'm just giving this as an example for you specifically. I'm hearing something about a witch and dark magic, but they might have did something and they kind of F things up. And so it's up to you to come in and fix. They, now they had other people try to fix this other lifetimes, but it didn't work out. So I feel like you gonna really get the stuff done this lifetime. But yeah, I, I feel like this old lady here is, that man still right here, y'all. But he, he, but he watching though. He just like there, right there smiling. Like, he just right there smiling. I don't know. Some of y'all might know who this is. Or somebody might know who this is. It's like a homeless person. But he's saying he want to watch. I don't know. Like, he's just saying, I just want to sit here and watch. Um, but, yeah, like, clearing the past and healing the present. Like, you're supposed to, like, fix something that has happened. But you got the you you got the power for it because you are like a stronger you like you are a stronger light worker, not a person who um maybe like a great grandmother for some of y'all or like a great grandfather somebody a great aunt was a light worker but they not as they wasn't as strong as you you a stronger light worker or something like that or you like a more advanced one. So they're like, oh, you were like, fine, I'm going to just go in and do it, right? 
So I feel like when an increase coming through here, you gonna be able to fix this. Now that's why you gotta make adjustments or whatever. That's why you had to make a lot of adjustments and stuff. But I feel like you're gonna get this issue fixed. This 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 thing that was messed up here. It don't have to be specifically what I said, but or anything I said can be something specific. Well, you know what it is. Since it, I mean it is your family. It is your bloodline, so hold on, let me see. Let's get some ten of wands here. Work I see, I feel like there's a lot of trauma here, right? It could be also some some of y'all is like you need to balance the stuff out. We have the eight of cups here. Hold on, let me see. I'm also saying the six of wands. You're gonna be victorious at this. Like you're gonna actually fix the issue. But it's hard on you. Like change your priorities, making these changes. This your this is a spiritual quest specifically to fix this. So you basically coming in to fix this issue. That's basically what you coming in for. You got. Uh, I mean, this not just. You don't just have one purpose, but this definitely is an issue that you will. You gonna end up fixing this issue for sure. Now again, the spirit got a strong one. I'm only sensing like two strong ones. Um, the wit like the seer or like the witch and this older shorter like lady here that's coming through here who's like who helps you be in the present moment when you laugh they be she be there a lot when you having birthday parties or you having a good time she comes in making sure you in a present moment making sure you enjoy yourself you know how sometimes when you be having a good time then you start to feel a little sad Maybe for some of you for no reason or because something is there and you don't have this something, then she puts you back in the present moment. And like, hey, you know, you need to be in this present moment. Ain't the time to be sad, you know? But the, the witch here, the seers here, helping you, like, fix these issues, deal with these relationships, and some and the complicated relationships between you and certain, some of your family members. Maybe, you know, you know your dad or, you know, uh, your aunt, your uncle, somebody, your mom, somebody deal with addiction or just, you know, drugs or something, and they helping you deal with this. She steps in when you did because I mean this is some of the this I mean this is the fault of what they did in the past. So the family is suffering. Um, but again, at the same time, they sign on these contracts to 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 do the suffering. Like everything happens is all written down. But that's in the contract because of something that happened. So we gotta burn that so that can be released. And you can go through some some something else because you can't just constantly keep ha going through the same cycles, each soul like this all the time. It got to be different experiences and stuff. So if you get what I'm saying, or maybe you know, um, some in your family, somebody always died or something. Like, it's a certain disease that run in the family or something like that. And so you're going to be one of the, like, you're going to be one, only one that, you, like, that don't catch this or get the disease or get, well, the the illness or something like that. No matter what it is, it's something like that coming through. Like, you're going to be victorious, increase. But also, they could also be helping you with recognition here with the creator energy coming through. They help you get recognized. They help you get seen. They help you put the word out there. This spirit guide, this older, shorter lady. I want to pull one more for this group. What else? I'm hearing over the hill justice. Yeah, to bring that balance back. This is karmic, right? Yeah, and you will win in the position of integrity. Like, you're going to win. You're going to get the issue fixed if you're worried about that. But you got to balance. Like, you got to bring that because there's an imbalance here. Like, to fix this karmic thing that's happening here. 
the six of cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, something they did in the past. The number six can be important. Mm-hmm. Like, this is very much taking a mental toll as well on a lot of y'all. You're like, why I got to fix it again? That you made the decision. You said I'm going to do it, right? You said I'm going to do it. Since I'm I'm a stronger one, I'll do it, you know? I'll do it. I'm happy to do it. I don't mind doing it. And now you're upset about it? Well, you can't complain because it was your choice, all right? But, yeah, that's what I see coming through here. So, like I said, it's not many coming through here. Like, the seer was coming through here. The witch. And, like, this older, shorter lady here. I'm not even sure. It's, did I say this woman was related to you? Because she may not be just just a spirit guy. Or just stepped in. Like, you may have, have never, like... Or, like... It may not be an ancestor or nothing like that. But, yeah, that's what I'm saying here. Like, I'm seeing, like, some type of dis... Not, like, a disconnect, but it's not giving me that you... It could be that you just don't know her, or you could know her, but... Hmm. And then, like, we had a guest here. You guys had a guest here. To, he still, he's still here, y'all. He was like, I just want to watch. He's smiling and, and laughing and waving. <laughs> but this person, maybe some of y'all know, maybe y'all know some person. He was homeless. He said, I was homeless. Um... And, but I was happy, though. He said I was homeless, but I was happy. I don't know. Y'all got a little audience here. I was homeless, but I was happy. And um, he said he had some issues with his heart. And he had a heart attack and died. He was found in an alley or something like that. He was found in an alley. He, I think he lived in a city or something like that, like a big city. I'm not sure what country. Um, but he was homeless. He said I never was unhappy, even though I didn't really, I didn't have nothing. I always kept a smile on my face. But I died of a heart attack because I didn't, I didn't have access to the medical treatments that I needed. I didn't know nothing was going on. I just had um, chest pains for days. But he thought it was just like some stress or stress from being out on the street. And he ended up having a heart attack and dying. And he said he was found, but like two days after he passed. Yeah, he's like, I was found two days after I passed. He's shaking his head up and down. Um, I don't know. He want to tell y'all his story. It was He said it was quick. He just said it just felt, he felt like a tightness. And, and then he just was out of his body. And then he uh, saw, he said, he said, I, I saw my... Nan, Nan, or something like he called her, Nan, like his grandmother, and you know she. Then he said he saw his mom, and um, he saw his son that was killed. He said he had a son that was shot and killed. Um, like what around what times you died? He said he died in like the nineties. He said the late nineties. So in a city, which city? He said up north. He said a city up north. But I'm not getting like a specific city. But he's saying something about a building and an alleyway. He had a son. I don't know. Maybe y'all know who this is. I don't know. Maybe somebody might come across this and it's just like maybe this was a person that you helped like gave money to at some point or passed on the street. I don't know. Every, a lot of different ages watching. Now, if you was born in the 90s, maybe not you. I know you wasn't a baby crawling, passing no home, as my man. But you know what I mean? Or if you wasn't born yet, maybe you was a teenager or something in the 90s. Or maybe you was like, you know what I mean? A daughter or something. It depends on who watching. You might know who this is. I could remember a person. Um. Okay, so he said his son served and he was shot and killed. Oh, in war and in, in. Okay, so he was in like he was shot and killed. So he would pass before you did. He he like yeah. I'm sorry, I don't know why he telling he telling all this. Uh, you got anything you want to say? You like no? I just wanted to just tell my little story. I just wanted to pass through here. 
All right, then that's all I have, y'all. He wanted to come through. But yeah, that, like I said, that was the energies that came through here for y'all. Maybe that's a message in there with this person, with this homeless. Uh, Well, he not homeless no more. He, <laughs> But yeah, he was just, he's showing himself like in a human form. You know, we don't look like that on the other side, but um, how he was in his human form. He like got gray hair and a beard. A little bit. It's not, it's like a messy. It looks like, you know, he's been on the streets and he has like a beanie on and like this blue sweater. He said, I had a, I had two favorite little sweaters. Now they wasn't the best. It was blue and it was uh, tan. It was like a light brown tannish looking one. Cause he like switched. He had on a tan one, then he switched to a blue one. Like these were my favorite two shirts. But yeah, that's all I have for you, you guys. Um, again, I guess that's a message in there for y'all with this individual who came through. Thank you guys for watching. Please do not forget to thumbs this video. If you did, in fact, like the reading, that would be very much appreciated, okay? Um, if you would like a private reading from me, my email is in the description. You can, you know, send me an email if you would, you know, if you want one. Um and I can hook you up with something. You know, it can be something like this or it can be any type of reading that you want. You can ask anything that you want, okay? Um, if I didn't say, if this group didn't resonate, you are always welcome to pick a different group and until next time, beautiful people, I love y'all. I'm wishing y'all the best. I hope you got something from out this reading. Bye-bye.